If you were to try and count all the creatures of the world, you'd be doing it forever, not only because of how many species there are, though that would take you a while. Rather, it's because some of these species have millions, if not billions, in their populace. And yes, you guessed it, I'm talking about bugs. There are a lot of them out there in the world today. And while some of you don't have to worry about it, there are some that absolutely do. So from a praying mantis to the titan beetle and more, here are 20 most dangerous bugs in the world. Number 20. Praying Mantis I'm going to preface this one by saying that technically speaking, the praying mantis isn't the biggest threat to humans out there. Now sure, this bug will give you nightmares if you get too close or if it does something like jump at you, but in terms of danger, that would be for other animals that go up against this creature. For example, it has multiple ways of dealing with a predator should they try to mess with them. If it wants to do scare tactics, it will spread out its large forelimbs and its wings in order to make itself seem a whole lot lot bigger than it actually is, and it works a lot more than you may think. Secondly, it has camouflage, which it can use to blend into things like grass or leaves or plants on trees, and should it honestly need to get physical, it absolutely can. Believe it or not, there are praying mantis who actually go up against large snakes and win because of how they use their limbs to immobilize the snake's mouth and ensure that they can't get bit. That's kind of freaky, but it's also effective. And of course, there's the real reason they're dangerous as a bug species, and it isn't for the faint of heart. When it comes time to mate, the females of the species will get with the males and then they'll devour them. Yes, they perform cannibalism on their coital partners, which you would think would be weaned out over the generations of evolution, but apparently not. And I also want to note that in a certain movie, a giant praying mantis ate a human's head clean off, so be glad it was only a movie and not real life. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Titan Beetle now, if you have a name like the Titan Beetle, you have to be impressive in at least one metric. Otherwise, why would you be called a Titan? Thankfully for this beetle, it does indeed live up to the name, because currently it's the largest known species of beetle in our world. And as you can see in these pictures, the Titan Beetle can easily fill up a person's hand, which is already freaking me out. I'm just glad it's not right next to me in my pet guinea pig Twinkle as I'm reading about it. Now, in terms of danger, I'll admit that this is one that does pose a certain threat to humans, but how is that, you may ask? Well, that's because of its size. It holds a lot of power that can be put into certain things, and in this case I'm talking about its mandibles. Its biting power is so great that it can easily snap a pencil in half, and while it may not have a fatal bite when it comes to a human, it absolutely can mess you up by piercing your skin and causing a whole lot of pain. So the lesson here, don't mess with this one. What may surprise you on another front though is that the Titan Beetle may be visible in terms of its size, but we know precious little about it when it comes to how it lives. And by that, I mean that researchers have been trying to find out more about the Titan Beetle's life cycle, but have failed. And why? Well, because they can't find any of its larvae. Now, it's not only a dangerous insect, but it turns out it's also a rather mysterious one. Number 18. Funnel Web Spiders Now I know that spiders aren't exactly insects, but most people forget that when they're staring right at you. I know I feel that way at times. There is a group of spiders known as the Funnel Web Spider, though, that has many species between them, and they're absolutely dangerous, and thus you need to stay away from them. The reason for this is that they can kill you with the venom that they possess, and what's more, once it gets into you, it's not going to take very long for you to feel the effects. Some of them, like the northern funnel spider, can have
have the effects happen in less than 20 minutes, and you'll want to get the antivenom when that occurs. Common symptoms include hypertension, sinus problems, muscle spasms, nausea, vomiting, altered consciousness, local pain, and much more at the bite site. Pulmonary edemia occurs frequently and comes on early has its own level of deadly venom within it. Such as the Sydney funnel spider, who are said to be very venomous, and in fact the male version of that spider is five times as venomous as the female. And because I bet you can't really tell the difference between any of them, you'll be freaking out and wondering which one just bit you, or whether you'll be able to survive the experience. To be clear, there is anti-venom for them, and in Australia, where you'll find most of these spiders, you're going to learn that death by them are rare because they have the cure. But still, you should be mindful in areas that they're around. Number 17. Bullet Ant Picture this right now, an ant, one that you may find outside your home or even your workplace. Think about how small they are and how infinitely harmless they are to you. Especially since you can just go up and step on them, or if you're more sadistic, you can burn them with a magnifying glass. I know that some of you have done that in your life. But what if one of these ants had a bite that was so powerful it can make you cry out in pain? I'm not talking about the fire ant, I'm speaking of course about the bullet ant. One that has a bite that's so powerful and impactful that it literally has been described as being impacted by a bullet. The good news for you is that they typically like to reside in places like rainforests of Nicaragua and the extreme east of Honduras, as well as Paraguay. So thus, many of you aren't actually in the range of these ants, and that's a good thing. Because not unlike a bullet wound, this is a bite that isn't going to subside anytime soon. Those who have been bitten by this ant note that it gives you waves of burning, throbbing, all-consuming pain that continues unabated for up to 24 hours. Just think about that. A single bite from this tiny little ant can have you in pain for an entire day with one bite. Now imagine being beset upon by some of these ants and having them bite you all over. No thank you. I do want to state for the record that it's nearly impossible to die from one of these bites without other factors coming into play, but the pain alone should be enough of a deterrent for you to avoid this ant. Number 16. Kissing Bug while the name kissing bugs may not sound all that frightening at first, you should know by now that just because you're named one thing doesn't mean you're a threat to others. In fact, this particular bug has another name that definitely sets more of a tone in terms of the danger that it brings, the vampire bug. Yep, that one sucks. Get it? <laughs> <clears throat> the kissing bug is not one to be messed with. They can be found all over the Americas and certain other parts of the world, and if they were to bite you, they would suck your blood. But that's not all. Depending on your skin sensitivity, you could get a seriously allergic reaction from the bite, thus adding to your pain and misery. And outside of having it be known that you got hurt by a kissing bug, I'm sure that your friends would make fun of you for that. Sadly though, it's still not all. Kissing bugs have a very nasty habit of having a parasite in them, and so if they were to bite you, that parasite might just get into you and do you some damage on its own. A true two-for-one special that no one wants to partake in. This particular parasite can give you Chagas disease, which can give you anything from swelling of the eyeballs to heart disease, depending on how badly your body reacts. So what's the lesson you've learned today? Don't mess with bugs just because you think they have a stupid name. Number 15. Tick. And now for an insect. Well, actually, no, because despite them being small and very annoying, ticks are yet another animal that people think are insects, but are actually parasitic arachnids. That's right, ticks are related to spiders. Aren't we just so lucky? Ticks are creatures that are infamous for a whole variety of reasons, many of which are likely known to you. They'll attach themselves not only to animals, but also to people, and then begin sucking out your blood. Equally as bad, they aren't localized to any certain area, you can find various varieties of tick all over the world, and they particularly love warm climates. 
Now as for their bite, it is terrible, and it's dangerous on multiple levels, the first of which is that they can give you Lyme disease, something that they're infamous for transmitting from one species to another. But just as bad is the fact that because they're so small, and because they're so good at what they do, their saliva acts as a kind of anesthetic, which makes it so that you don't actually feel anything when they bite, and then they'll work their way inside of you to get to your blood with you unaware. You could literally have a tick attached to you for days and find it if it's only by accident. Which for the record is something that happens all the time, believe it or not, and their size also makes them dangerous, as they at most grow to be about 5 millimeters. That's pretty small. This is why fields that are known to have ticks have those warning signs put up all around them so that you'll know what you're getting into before you dive in. Number 14. The Africanized Honeybee How many of you out there are afraid of bees? Oh, that many, huh? Well, don't worry. It is a natural fear and one that totally makes sense given that bee stings hurt and we're taught that when we're young we shouldn't mess with their hives as that could cause a swarm to come after us, something that's certainly been shown in television, movies, and cartoons all the time. But while they are dangerous, they aren't exactly fatal, unless you have a severe allergic reaction to one, that is, with the sole exception of the Africanized honeybee. Dying as they sting me. They're laying down their lives in defense of the colony. This is a very special yet very dangerous bee that was literally bred in a lab. Yes, it was produced originally by crossbreeding the East African lowland honeybee with various European honeybee subspecies, such as the Italian honeybee and the Iberian honeybee. Now, why they would want to genetically create a bee? Well, that's because they were going to take it to Brazil in order to help with honey production, which is a noble goal. The problem, though, is that this bee had some unresolved issues, and then 26 swarms of these bees got out while they were in Brazil and proceeded to go to North and Central and South America, where they've been called the killer bee because that's exactly what they do. They're so aggressive that if you provoke them, the entire swarm's going to come after you, and they'll chase you for over a quarter of a mile just to hunt you down. And when they sting you, well, they don't sting you just a few times or even a dozen, they're going to do it hundreds of times, if not more. They're so dangerous, in fact, that they've killed over 1,000 people since being unleashed upon the world. So in other words, beware. Number 13. The Black Widow Spider Here we have yet another arachnid on the list. I'll talk to the research crew later about the difference between arachnids and insects, and one that many of you are no doubt familiar with, the Black Widow Spider. Many of you likely know to fear this spider, because in the eyes of many, it's the deadliest and most venomous spider in the world today. Which is not entirely accurate. It is deadly and it can kill you, but it's not the most venomous, nor the deadliest. And because of the reign of terror that they did unleash at one time, they were able to be counteracted via antivenom. All of that being said though, you still do not want to get bitten by them ever. And why is that? Well, just look at the symptoms you're going to suffer from a single bite. Those include cramping, irregular heartbeat, sweating, extreme muscular pain, tremors, and delirium, just to name a few. Those are all things that you can expect if you get bitten by these things. What's more, those who have been bitten and gotten the more serious of symptoms have stated that your life is on hold as the venom works its way through your system. Sometimes you won't even be given the antidote until things go from basic to bad, which leaves you suffering in the meantime. And to that, the effects of this bite can last weeks. So while it's true that the spider isn't the most deadly around like some would think, would you really want to be bitten by it? Number 12. The Fire Ant I've already talked about one particular ant, so why not bring in another, one that you likely do have near you and should be wary of, should you want to avoid a painful bite. This is the fire ant, a species that's so common in many places, and to some it's actually invasive something that you're not used to hearing in regards to ants. Equally as important is that if you don't bother the fire ant, it's not going to bother you, so that's a very easy way to get away from this dangerous insect. However, if you do get bitten by one, you're going to be in a lot of pain. 
Fire ant stings are painful, characterized by a local burning sensation, hence the term fire ant. That'll be followed by a lot of other terrible things, and the sting site will typically swell into a bump within a few hours, and that can cause even further pain and irritation, especially following several stings in the same place. If you know somebody who was swarmed by these things, and there are pictures out there, it means that you can have a literal menagerie of bites going up and down your arms, body, legs, and so on. Oh, and if you scratch at them, which you'll be tempted to do, then you're going to run the risk of them getting infected, which can cause scarring over time. So all in all, this is absolutely a species that you should be wary of and leave alone at all costs, or else you're not going to like that bite. Number 11. Asian Giant Hornet Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Murder Hornet. Well, technically that's a misnomer, but they can kill you, and thus absolutely deserve to be on the list. Wasps and hornets are amongst many insect species that people already know as being dangerous. They'll sting you pretty badly, and it'll hurt for a long time. Yet, in terms of the Asian giant hornet, these are not only the biggest wasp species of the lot, they are by far the most dangerous as their stings are violent, and they tend to attack in swarms, leaving massive holes in your skin from the sting that they'll unleash. <laughs> What's that? You think I'm overselling it? Well, I've warned you. There was once an elderly Japanese woman who was attacked by these wasps, and she was on her way to visit home one day when she was in a wheelchair as she went through the area. It was in that spot that the swarm attacked her, and because of her confinement to the wheelchair, she couldn't escape. It wasn't her fault, but it did seal her literal doom. There were people around that could have helped her, but because they had no way of doing so without getting attacked themselves, something they obviously didn't want, an attendant at a nearby facility had to call for help. But they didn't arrive for nearly an hour, and by that time, the woman had been stung over 150 times. She would perish the next day. So now, do you believe me when I say that these murder hornets are absolutely terrible? Number 10. Brown Recluse Spider Another entry, another spider, which is not an insect, and I just give up at this point. The brown recluse spider honestly has many different names. First, it's the violin-like mark on their heads, which has led them to being known as violin spiders as well as fiddlers. Not the kind of name that you'd associate with a dangerous entity, but as I've shown you before, names can be deceiving. There, we're getting a better picture now. I hope you can see that fiddle design on the... The brown recluse prefers to house itself within certain dim-lit areas. On the whole, that doesn't sound so bad until you realize it means stuff like your shoes and your bed, your clothing and your closet, and perhaps even around the toilet. They'll also go into boxes, and since people don't know that they're in there, they're going to try and move them around and then get bitten, and it all ends up badly. This goes double for the spiders in clothing situations. The person may try to put on an item that the spider's inside of, and the natural feeling of being provoked will cause them to lash out and bite the person. As for where the spider's found, that would be the United States, via the Midwest and California. Now for the part you've been dreading. The brown recluse has an extremely potent venom, one that not only causes a big wound at times, but also infection, decaying tissue, and more. And if the young young child were to be bitten by this spider, it might just kill them. Number 9. The Human Bot Fly Now, this is an insect that's not only dangerous, but it's very, very disgusting. Like on a level that I can't even fully describe because I'll likely throw up all over my microphone from trying. You know, all flies are annoying, right? They vomit every time they land on something, and that's bad because it includes you. But the human bot fly is much worse for the simple yet disgusting reason that if you do certain things in the wrong way, you're going to find one of these things inside of you, and it will grow inside of you until it decides to leave or you make it leave via a doctor. 
like I said, it's disgusting. Typically what will happen is that people will go and travel to places like Central and South America, become infected with the parasite via various means, and that also includes a mosquito bite, believe it or not. The eggs will then get embedded into your skin and grow just underneath until it breaks out and goes away. Is it fatal? <laughs> well, no, honestly not. But is it one of the most disgusting things we've ever seen and heard of? Well, you bet your bottom it is. Number 8. Indian Red Scorpion now no, this is not an insect either, I'm just rolling with it at this point because it's what's being written. Regardless of what it is or isn't, we can say with 100% certainty that the Indian red scorpion is dangerous and for a reason you're probably staring at right now that being its stinger. If you were unfortunate enough to be stung by the scorpion, here's what you'd have to look forward to. Severe local pain, vomiting, sweating, priapism, cenosis, unconsciousness, muscular convulsions, breathlessness, pink frothy sputum, abnormal heart rhythms, a fast or slow heart rate, lower high blood pressure, acute myocarditis, and shock. That's a whole lot of symptoms, and because of that, it honestly can be fatal to humans. What's worse, most of the victims of these stings are children, and the fatality rate is anywhere from 8 to 40%. Equally as bad, there's an antivenom for this sting, and it doesn't really work. That's horrifying that an antivenom for this creature doesn't work. Why does it even exist? Scorpions as a whole are things to avoid, but the Indian red scorpion might just be the worst of the bunch in a whole lot of ways. Number 7. Saddleback Caterpillar some of you might honestly do a double take with this one because the idea of a caterpillar harming you is a bit ludicrous in a lot of ways. After all, these are the things that turn into butterflies, some of which can actually hurt you for the record, and are perceived as weak and defenseless. So how could one possibly kill you? Well, it's not really about killing you, it's more about them making you regret that you ever touched them or knew they existed in the first place. You see, the saddleback caterpillar is a rare one in its species because it has both horns on its head and a venom that it has on the hairs of its body. And so, if you were to touch it, you'd end up regretting it. But what happens, you may ask? Well, typically, you'd get a significant rash, and you'd feel very nauseated. But wait, there's more! Well, in some cases, more severe reactions to the venom can occur, which includes migraines, gastrointestinal symptoms, asthma complications, anaphylactic shock, rupturing in parts of your body you don't really want, and hemorrhaging. So yeah, this caterpillar can hurt you very badly. Number 6. Harvester Ant Now I'll get right to the point with this one. If you get bitten by a harvester ant, you're going to regret it. First off, they can bite and sting you multiple times, which is absolutely horrifying. And what's more, they tend to bite you first to hold on to its position, and then they'll sting you after it pivots in place. So yes, this thing latches on and then moves into place to sting you and inject you with its venom. Plus, these ants use their bites to emit pheromones, and that allows them to alert other ants to its position and then summon their ant kin to bite their prey all at once and take it down. A coordinated attack of doom. Keep the thing away from me. Pain from other numerous attacks can last up to four hours, and your wound might swell up as well. Believe it or not, there are multiple ant species that have that kind of focused attack, so that's why they're so dangerous. Number 5. The Tsetse Fly Given how well the last fly entry went, I'm sure that you're eager to hear about how dangerous this one is. Well, to put it simply, these are flies that are known for transmitting disease via an entity known as trypanosomes. They'll get them and then transfer them to uninfected animals. And in humans, we can also get something that's related to it, which is also known as the sleeping sickness. And not only is this bad for humans, it can also be infectious to others who are nearby. So thus, one fly can actually cause a whole heaping helping of damage to a population if that population isn't careful. But then again, it's a fly, so why you would even realize that it was a tsetse fly just by seeing it on your arm? You probably wouldn't, and that's what makes it dangerous.
Number 4. Southern Flannel Moth Here's another type of creature that you wouldn't expect to be a dangerous thing because moths don't exactly strike people as being dangerous, not unless one catches on fire and then runs into you, right? But here, not unlike a previous creature that I've talked about, it's all about the dangers of its caterpillar form. Because just like the saddleback, the larva form of this moth has a sting via its venomous spines that can seriously injure you, such as causing burning, swelling, nausea, headache, abdominal distress, rashes, blisters, and sometimes chest pain, along with numbness or even difficulty breathing. And you can even break out in hives. Oh, such joy. Number 3. Sack Spiders Yes, we're talking about more spiders. Go ahead and talk all about it in comments below how they're not insects. I know, I've admitted it, I'm moving on. And as is somewhat typical for a family, these spiders are usually dangerous together, but also apart as well. The various species of the sack spider is known to have venom and thus are dangerous, but unlike other spider families, they're not necessarily fatal. Some are just painful and can cause itching, while others, again depending on the species, can cause much more severe symptoms. All in all, no matter what sack spider you might be near, it might be best to just stay away from them regardless. Number 2. Driver Ant I'm sure that you're anticipating this next one because you wish to learn just how incredibly dangerous the driver ant species is. Well, you won't be disappointed, but you will be scared. Why? Because of their sheer numbers. You'll likely know that a colony of ants has a lot of ants in it, right? Well, for driver ants, that colony can be, oh, just a measly 20 million denizens. That's right, it does get worse though. Because unlike other ant colonies, these ants work as one as they go out into the world, and if they find something that they want, or they get ticked off by something standing in their way, they're going to swarm it and bite it into freaking oblivion. Think about having millions upon millions of ants all over you, and each of them biting you with a very painful bite. You would likely die. It's not been confirmed that they've killed people, but some scientists have said that they likely have the ability to kill an elephant with a swarm, and we, well, we're kind of like smaller elephants, aren't we? Number 1. Abydus Waterbug Yes, we're ending this with a bug, thank goodness, and a water bug at that. Something that I honestly haven't talked about all video. These are very interesting creatures because of their behaviors at times. They're meant to be totally aquatic, but have adapted to where they'll leave their watery homes in order to get to safer spots. such as them doing so during heavy rains. Now, as for why they're so dangerous, they're known to bite humans in self-defense, and it's apparently very painful. Though, to be clear, it's not a fatal bite. Still though, getting bitten by them sucks, so why risk it? Their bites are no doubt why some call them the ferocious water bug, though whether the bugs themselves enjoy that nickname, nobody honestly knows. That's all from the world of very dangerous bugs that you and other animals shouldn't want to mess with. Which of them already sends shivers up your spine? And do you feel as though some of them are even scarier than I described? Is there another one that should have made this list? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.